how business strategies and risks are better understood by the internal audit function why understanding the roles and responsibilities of each stakeholder are important for the chief audit executive what should be documented in the internal audit charter to safeguard the internal audit activities independence and how internal audit credibility and values are enhanced let's try to get responses to all these questions while we review this is standard 2100 the nature of work hello and welcome this is tawseef mushtaq an audit strategist control specialist and a board advisor with over two decades of experience in audit compliance controls and forensic reviews the objective of my videos in the audit and assurance series is to promote the internal audit profession in its basic spirit whereby the internal auditors having a clear understanding of the standards and international professional practices framework overall so they can contribute to achieve the mission of internal audit let's review the mission of internal audit as defined by the institute of internal auditors the mission is to enhance and protect organizational value by providing risk based and objective assurance advice and insight so today we are reviewing the series 2100 we are starting a new series now uh, this series is having four standards starting from 2100 nature of work then 2110 which is governance 2120 risk management and 2130 is controls so what is the basic requirement of the standard 2100 nature of work the internal audit activity must evaluate and contribute to the improvement of the organization's governance risk management and control processes how it is by using a systematic disciplined and risk based approach how the internal audit credibility and values are enhanced these are enhanced when auditors are proactive number 2 their evaluations offer new insights and number 3 consider the future impact that that shows that the internal audit needs to consistently evaluate Uh, the potential risk to the organization, and that only is possible when internal auditor understands the the business activity which we are performing, uh, the nature of business we are having, get involved uh, by understanding not only in the profession but in the industry, so that they can give their insights and upcoming uh, risk and challenges that organization may face. so what implementation guides inform us about the nature of work so let's get further details conforming with the standard 2100 requires a thorough understanding of the concepts of governance risk management and control as defined in the international standards for the professional practice of internal auditing as well as the individual standards that apply specifically to these concepts Uh, we will cover the standards as i told earlier uh, in next three uh, vlogs so to start with, with the internal auditor needs to have an understanding of the organizational objective once this understanding has been achieved the chief audit executive usually interviews the senior management and the board to understand the roles and responsibilities of each stakeholder with respect to governance risk management and control the board is responsible for guiding the governance process the senior management is accountable for leading risk management and control processes and the internal auditors need to understand the business to perform meaningful evaluations and may use established governance risk management and control frameworks as a guide in their evaluation so you can see the roles are very well defined but most of the organization 
uh, you will experience if they are not that mature these uh, positions and these job roles are a sort of uh, overlapped and then you need to uh, create awareness as well as uh, keep pushing yourself to that level that you can provide uh, really uh, uh, you can enhance your credibility and value by providing those evaluations which are useful for the for the organization moving forward also as per the implementation guide the internal auditors may use their knowledge experience and best practices to proactively highlight observed weaknesses and make recommendations for improvement to assess the internal audit activity in its understanding of the business risk strategies and risk the chief audit executive typically review the board and committee charters meeting agendas and minutes and the organization's strategic plan the organization's mission key objectives critical risks and the key controls used to mitigate such risk to an acceptable level during this review the internal audit activity may again in may gain insight into the definitions frameworks models and processes of governance risk management and control used by the organization the key organizational roles need related to the three processes which may include the chairman of the board ceo or the or the or the interchangeably the similar position chief officers example cfo chief ethics officer uh, cro uh, C- chief compliance officer or chief uh, hr as well as um, uh, the head of it or head of iit it and information systems as well as if there are some other key positions needs to be uh, involved to start implementing this standard the chief audit executive typically discusses the board with the board and the senior management requirements of the standards roles and responsibilities and the best strategies for the internal audit activity to evaluate and contribute to governance risk management and control efficiently and effectively the chief audit executive may document in the internal audit charter any expectations related to the roles responsibilities and accountabilities of the board senior management and the internal audit activity this is intended to safeguard the internal audit activities independence by affirming that senior management and the board are responsible and accountable for governance risk management and control while the internal audit activity is responsible for providing objective assurance and consulting activities related to the three processes so as per implementation guide what are the considerations for implementation to devise an appropriate strategy for assessing the organization's governance risk management and control processes the chief audit executive typically considers the level of maturity of the three processes as i said in the earlier uh, earlier section the organization's culture and the seniority of the individuals who maintain responsibility for the processes then the chief audit executive assesses the risk associated with the three processes which is governance risk management and control the chief audit executive may use established framework adopted by a senior management for example coso framework is there uh, or maybe there is uh, for example the king report on corporate governance or iso 31000 uh, to guide their assessment during the assessment the chief audit executive dis- documents and discusses with the senior management any relevant observations and conclusions the chief audit executive also make recommendations to strengthen the processes and may escalate the significant observations to the board if an established framework has not been adopted to, to guide the organization's uh, grc processes the cia the chief audit executive may consider recommending an appropriate framework to guide senior management in their pursuit of enhancing these processes as well as the chief audit executive may also recommend the gaps and highlight that how the same framework can be appropriately implemented so how can we demonstrate conformance with the standard 2100 documentation that may demonstrate conformance within the standard with the standard includes the internal audit charter 
which documents internal audit activities roles and responsibilities related to governance risk management and control the internal audit plan or minutes of meetings in which the elements of the standard were discussed among the chief audit executive board and senior management engagement plans may demonstrate the internal audit activities disciplined systematic and risk based approach and engagement reports may demonstrate the outcome of relevant value added results so this conclude our review of standard 2100 nature of work and uh, relevant to this standard you will get further details in the upcoming three uh, standards review thank you so much for watching my videos stay connected uh, share my videos so other people can also get benefit subscribe the channel and like the videos thank you so much